Richard Lenski uh, is a professor of microbiology at Michigan State University. But Lenski, being a microbiologist, said, hey, I know what I'll do. I'll take a liquid culture of a bacterium called E. coli, which is a common laboratory bacterium. As a matter of fact, I'll take 12 of them. I'll have 12 flasks just for replicability's sake. And uh, he'll put in some liquid nutrient um, material and some E. coli to start, and there was enough, uh, enough material for them to go through six or seven generations. And because they're so small, the bacteria reproduce rapidly, and so it turns out they could do that overnight. And it turns out that also because they're so small, there were about 100 million of them in each 10 milliliter flask. And the next morning, Lenski or one of his colleagues or students would come in and take an aliquot of the previous night's culture and put it in some fresh media. And they would let it grow for another day, another six or seven generations, and then they'd do the same thing the next day and the next day for 30 years. And it turns out that the bacteria have gone through more than 50,000 generations in that time, and there have been trillions of organisms.